Okay, so this is the first time I revealed the box design on my deck of cards. Are you ready? I'm taking you guys with me to get some boba, but there's a specific reason why I'm getting it today. If you've been following me on Instagram, you probably saw me tease the release of my new deck. Well, today you're about to find out. By the way, I see a lot of people just stabbing boba with their straw. It makes a huge mess. Let me show you an efficient way of doing it. Hold it right here and boom. See how clean that was? If you're new to the channel, my name is Bao, I'm a magician, and if you enjoy magic or you want to learn some magic, you are at the right spot. Today I will teach you how to do the easiest card trick you'll ever learn. If your go-to magic trick is dealing 21 cards, well forget about it. Stop wasting people's time and learn this one instead. It's easy to do, it's straightforward. Most of my viewers just start to do magic or they're not even magicians, so if that is you, this is the perfect trick for you. Before we get into the trick, let me show you what I've been working on. This is eight months in the making and uh, I am so, so, so excited to share this with you. This is the first time that I actually revealed the design of the box, and here it is. These are the Boba playing cards. Now wait for it. Now look at the box. Not only that we have a Boba-themed box, but the box itself is a Boba cup where you can actually store your Boba tea. And this is my favorite part. Boom! Not only this clear cup case acts as a boba cup, it also doubles as a protective case for your deck. If you watch this video until the end, I will let you know how you can get this deck, but for now, let me show you the card trick. All right, so this is the card trick. The spectator can choose any card that they want, okay? We're going to take uh, this card, so I'm gonna turn away. You'll see that this will be your card, and we're now going to place it back uh, anywhere in the middle of the deck. So. The spectator can even choose where they want to put it. Let's just put it right here, okay? We'll let them push the card right in so it can go really anywhere in the deck. So now I'm going to take the cards and we'll put it behind my back. I'm going to turn over one card behind my back and place it back in the deck, okay? Now, here's the deck of cards. Your card should be flipped face down in the deck right now. What was your card? Queen of Diamonds. Now you can see that all the cards are faced up and there's actually one card that is face down, the card that I turned face down. And if that is right, it should be your queen of diamonds. Nice, there you go. That is the easy trick that you can learn. Okay, so now I'll show you how you can do this trick. It's super easy, anybody can do it. You can use any deck of cards, including this one but really any deck of cards works fine. Now before the trick, feel free to show that all the cards are completely different and you can even shuffle the cards. Now, if you don't know how to shuffle, I do have a really in-depth tutorial on my channel. So here you can spread the cards, you can allow the spectator to take any card that they want. So let's say that they take this card, okay? Uh, king of hearts, oh, I actually really like this king. Now what you're going to say is, I want you to take this card, look at it, don't let me know, and show it to everybody else. Okay, assuming that there's other people there. The reason why you're doing this is because you actually want to turn around to do a secret move. Now, as the spectator is showing the card to everybody else, you will turn around. And as you turn around, this is what you do. You're going to take the first card and you'll hold it like this. And then the rest of the deck, you're just gonna flip it halfway to put that card back there. So now it leaves you with the first card face down and the rest of the cards face up. But when you square them all together, it just looks like a regular deck. So recap, spectator takes the card, you tell them, please show it to everyone else. Please remember the card. I will turn around so that you don't show me the card. And in the meantime, you do the little secret move. As you turn around, you have the deck like this. It's actually with a secret setup. You take the card back face down, and then you can tell them that they can put it anywhere in the deck, really. So let's say that they put it right here. Now you have to make sure that you don't reveal the other card. So you have to make sure that uh, you don't show that, okay? Now don't be too tight either. That'll be suspicious. So just be very casual about it. Tell them, okay, we're gonna place a card anywhere in the deck. 
and we're going to push it all the way in just like that. Now, once that's done, you can square the deck, show that it is completely in. And what you're going to do is you'll bring the cards behind your back. You're going to tell the spectator that you will attempt to find their card behind their back. I will attempt to find your card behind my back. Now, what you actually do is this. So this is what you have behind your back. What you're going to do is you're actually going to just take the first card and flip it over like this, and then you're done. And once you've done that, you will bring the cards back here. Now you say that you found their card, but not in any way. What you did is you actually took their card and you flipped it over and now the card is face down. And now you will ask, what was your card? They will name your card, which in this case is the King of Hearts. It was the King of Hearts. So King of Hearts, well, let me show you. All the cards are faced up except for one card that I turned over. And guess what? The card that I turn over behind my back is actually your King of Hearts. And that is the easiest card trick that you can learn. Okay, so quick recap. All the cards completely different. Shuffle the cards. Spectator takes the card. The spectator remembers the card. In the meantime, you turn around. But as you turn around, you do secret move. Boom. Secret move done. Now you turn back, spectator takes the card, put it anywhere in the middle of the deck. Right there, pushes in, and you take the card behind your back. As you're behind the back, do secret move, boom, right here. And then as you finish the secret move, bring the cards back. You found their card, but not in any way. You actually took the card and turned it face down. Now you're going to ask them what was their card. They name the card and voila, you have blown their minds with this super easy magic trick. I hope that you enjoyed that tutorial. Now let me tell you how you can get these cards. These are the Boba playing cards. I've been working on these for the past eight months and it is now ready to launch. So excited to share this with you guys. Went through a lot of design challenges because it is really hard to make brown sugar bubble tea uh, not look messy in illustration, but I think this is the cleanest way this could have been done. You can see the back design here that really represents the milk tea and the brown sugar in the form of waves. Another reason why I made it look like this is so that they will look amazing in fans. So everything about this deck is not traditional. You can see that the, uh, the pips are custom. Even the court cards are also custom. But yeah, I definitely thought about every design element of this deck. Here is the Ace of Spades. Absolutely beautiful. And the two Jokers. So these will be launched on Kickstarter on March 19, 2021. It will be crowdfunded because I think that this is the best way for someone in my position to uh, fund this project. Now, because the very first day of a Kickstarter project is the most important day, there will be some early bird discounts that you can take advantage of. If you want to learn more about this project, I left a link in the description. You'll also be able to see the official trailer on the launch day. So stay tuned because I'm super excited to be sharing that with you. So thank you so much for watching till the very end and for supporting this channel. If you haven't done so yet, you can leave a like and leave a comment with the word boba so that I know that you watch it until the very end. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you on the launch day. Peace. Thank you.